Welcome back everyone to some more ARK. So we are doing it. We're going to go through this cave. Now the only thing I'm curious about is will this thing fit? I'm scared it won't. I'll fit through that bit easy. This bit here. Oh it does. I don't know if I'll be able to get it back out though. We might have to uh, pokeball it to get it out. So I just restarted my game. Uh, because obviously we're going through a cave and I don't want to lose any progress if it crashes. And I'm still being I'm still being cautious. Yeah, look at this damage, it's pathetic. We'll be here all week. That actually has not back. Really? They're not taking a lot of damage. It'll take me forever to kill something. Obviously we need more damage. I mean that was level 290. Right, let's go... Well, a thousand damage. I like to go up to a thousand as a tester. 560 is still not a lot. It's all about the buffs with this guy, but you know. Obviously, we need to level it up. Do we have a drop over here? Another thing I noticed is this thing's stamina sucks. Right, we've not got a drop over there. Although, I have seen him over there. In this playthrough as well. What is going on here? Yeah, this thing's stamina sucks so bad. So I think maybe it's going to be like a companion that follows you. Because we are taking this thing into a boss fight. Oh, I love the fact that it can fit under there. Five sixty is that enough? Come on. Uh, let's get ten levels before we uh, make a decision. And as you can see, its stamina sucks so bad. It takes ages to charge as well. Although nothing does attack us, which is a good thing. Let's pop a flower. Just to get this centipede to come up. The bats aren't a problem. I just walk backwards and attack. It attacks really slow, that's what I don't like. I don't remember it being, I don't want to say this bad, because it's, it's still good. We got anything over there? We do. We've got a drop. So I know we continuously repeat this cave, but one, it's like my favourite place to come. And two, I mean look at the XP. Everything's like crazy high level for some reason. I think they're mate boosted. And level 290. Did I actually just take fall damage from walking over a rock? This thing does not have a lot of health. 10k? 14k should do. Although I'm going to have to spend time healing it now. So I will be back in like a second for you and probably like 10 years for me. Well, if that doesn't give you an idea of how long I've been doing this for, I don't know what will. Look in the bottom left corner how many meat I've eaten. 1800. Let's go. So we can put all our levels into... Uh, there's not actually that much here, to be honest. We could put all our levels into uh, melee damage now. Does anything want to fight? I mean, to be fair, eight, eight to nine hundred damage. That is good considering. I can't believe that. Oh, 
No, did the beetle survive? Yeah, 900 damage is still good. If you think about it, like the Thylo does like 500, I think. Although we don't have the Thylo at the base anymore. These things are so annoying. Right, let's kill all these here and then use our levels. It's got like a weird animation that if you if you're not moving, it sort of like stretches out its neck. Now let's level up. Oh, look at those levels. Two thousand. I'm trying to find a good balance between. I mean, thousand damage is good. I'd feel confident now to use a flower running through here. Which I am doing. Nothing seems to be interested anyway. There's not really much going on over here. We'd have to go into the uh, spider area that I left the la one of the last videos in. I only remember about doing that because I recently edited that video. Look at all the kiting. Do we have to turn off harvesting on this as well? Uh, it seems like it. Right, let's turn off harvesting. So I don't know how to encourage the one with the yellow effect. Unless that's just the left trigger, or the right stick, whichever one. You've got two rows, but I don't think one of them even does anything. Let's grab this quick, that spider's stuck in that. Really? Really game, I walked all this way for that. Let's kill this. I will see you back down at that pool, because I know we didn't really get much in the last video apart from taming this thing, so I'd rather not waste time, I'd rather just get through this place and see how many levels we come out with. Let's go. I just took a stamina break as well so that we didn't have to stop. Let's use the flower just to drag everything out. Because we're going to have to go up the uh, stairwell, which is through the water. But I'm going to have to jump off this ledge here because this thing's slow at swimming. And as much of a head start as I can get, I will take it. Let's kill these snakes. Oh yeah, we don't have to drop all. Right, we need to j like jump as far as we can here. Because this thing is a literal snail in the water. So we're going to get as close to this edge as possible, because we need to make it down to there. Ready? Fly far. And there we go. The Uteranus swimming ability is... I'd say horrendous is a compliment. This is probably the worst swimming ever. And it still does that goofy neck thing when it's attacking. Which is... Stupid. We actually are overweight a little bit, so maybe we can... Oh yeah, we actually are a lot overweight. Let's just get rid of a bunch of this. Reduce the weight massively. We should be able to move... A little bit faster now. Right. Uh, more... Uh, no, we would be fine on damage. Do we go stamina? We get quite a lot of stamina. We'll go 2,000 stamina. And then the rest movement speed. I feel confident that this is enough. Not the speed, though. See, the animation, the actual attack lasts a, a quite a bit longer than the animation. I'm not going to waste my time with those bats. I just want to get through here now. I have to make so many cuts for stamina breaks and healing breaks and everything else. Let's bite these. 
think I'm actually walking at like a really good pace to where I don't need to worry about uh, these things catching up. I walk backwards at a perfect pace to where they can't catch up but I can attack them. Well, you're dead. Well, gone. You're not dead. Right, if we can't make this, I'm glad there's not a drop over there as well. If we can't make this, then I'm going to make a cut so I can walk all the way around. Let's just drop a load more meat. Because George didn't need a lot, so... When we did the, uh... Well, to get this guy. This is a girl, actually. Right, ready? Yes! Right, we should be able to leave it here, because nothing's going to attack it. We found that out. Let's go check on the Thylo. I don't think it'll need any more food. But who knows. Right, let's... Uh... Oh, you're a little bit beaten up. You've got plenty of food as well. Right, ready? I do this mostly for the drops, honestly, because I'm greedy. And there isn't one up here. I'll take this, though. Because it's here. And the Thylo's getting hurt a lot. I'm showing blood now. Is there any drops over there? Oh, there is. A red drop. That could be something good. And we have to get it. Keep all four feet in the water. There we go. And this is where I could possibly embarrass myself. And also, because we've survived so long, I'm going to say that this series is a permadeath. Just because we've survived so long and if I die, I die. I don't mind playing something else. And then come back to this game at a later date. Right. You have to make sure you know if your sprint button's clicked there. Oh my god. Oh, that made me tingle a little bit. Is there a drop up there? I'm not going to get it, but... Maybe one over there? No. Yeah, I would never go up there. That's just not... Not worth my time. Although we did just get an ascendant... Ascendant Plesiosaur saddle. And it was the actual item as well, which is quite rare. In fact, I don't think I've ever had a platform Plesiosaur saddle. Anyway, let's get back to Rampage with this thing. Because, uh, yeah, that's the whole point of this video. Let's just check what we got first. That's actually not got a lot of armor, considering. Nice to have. They are definitely w nice to have, although it'd be better if it was the flippers. Can we get across here now? No! I will see you back up top. Here we go again. Let's try not to fall this time, although we're not going back that way, so we should be fine. Uh, I'm going to avoid all the little things, because I want massive clusters of enemies. I mean, what's the point? I don't know if this thing does damage when it's walking past things, like the Rex and the Spino. I've not done damage yet, but I mean, I might not be close enough. Uh, let's jump off quick. I don't want to take full damage from that. Let's walk off here. I still took full damage. Uh, this should be a good room to do it, actually. Use a flower. Let's just get some stamina. And then flower. Turn round. Of course you have to web me. Uh, 
And through here we go. To the possibly most dangerous yet best part. Like you can attack and then just keep going. Oh, these are a bit tough. Oh, we've got another one. Right, stamina break again. We'll just walk. So, I came in here with... I think it was the Quetzal. Maybe the RJ. I think it was the Quetzal. And I just used the flower and things came out of places I didn't even know existed. Like that. I'm going to run up here and check for drops and then we can get like an overhead view before we use the flower because as much as I want to use one, I don't want to lose the Uteranus just yet. And of course, when there's like, especially the bats, the bats do loads of damage. If we aggro too many at once, we might end up making a big mistake. Yeah, well, that's manageable. Easy. I don't think there's any drops in here. Unless there's one up here to the right, I don't think there's any in here. Because I've never seen any apart from down there to the right up here and on that, that bridge there. We got one here? Nope. Okay, then I don't know what to do. Let's uh, run down the bottom. And use a flower. That'll be fun. Although there's not a lot in this cave for some reason. The last time I came here it was riddled in everything. Which is confusing. And the stuff hasn't respawned either. Which funny enough, the stuff on the top of the hill, where I used to get it. Like metal and crystal. All that respawned. I went up there to grab the last of the crystal. I came back to grab like two more crystal rocks and everything had respawned. So I'm happy about that, of course. Let's get some more speed. This thing reminds me of the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. Right, let's go flower. Let's use another one. Is everything angry now? That beetle survived the hit. And that one did. I don't like the attack animation. It's so weird. Just walk backwards. There's not a lot in here. It's kind of a shame, honestly. I came in here because I thought there'd be a lot in here. And we're just stuck with handfuls. Unless things haven't had a chance to respawn in here. Although that cave, the dangerous cave, the kiting cave, I went through there. Killed everything in the entrance, got to the end, came back, everything had respawned. Within, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. Oh, there is snakes here. Let's use one flower to get everything over. And then I guess we head out of here. Because this is dull. Get out of here. Well, I guess we are 
dipping out of here because this is shit. What I'm going to do is follow this river down. There should be a waterfall at the end. And we can go somewhere we've not been before. Here we go. I don't know how deep this is, so I am going to jump off. And that's a good job I did. Otherwise, I would have killed this thing. Let's go down into the what they call the underworld. Which is quite a nice area, but there's nothing down here that's like worth coming down here for. Like it's a really nice looking place. It's like an overworld underground. But it's just there's there's nothing that you'd come here for. Unless there's something I'm missing down here. Which there probably is, knowing my luck. Apparently that's the sun, the fake sun. Yeah, it is, it is quite nice down here. But there's like not many... Like, everything you'd want is not, is not down here. It's like, this is like the easy areas of the original, the island. And that's it. You might get a few Brontos, Dodos, Trikes, car Carbon Emmys, Parasaurs. Oh, apparently Manta Rays. But these holes here, th these actually have ways in and out. There is a few ways in and out of this place and honestly I probably don't even know them all. But this is probably going to be a shorter video because that cave was a bit of a bust and I've got to think of something to do with this Uteranus now. Although that is a really nice thumbnail, facing to the side with the sun in the background. Yeah, that's it. Let's uh, hide the hood and do that again. There we go. Uh, let's put the hood back on. So yeah, I think that's going to do it because I'm just going to head back up to the top now because there's nothing else I can think of doing that's not just killing pathetic creatures because this thing kills everything now. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye. Oh, and before I go, we're going to fight some bosses soon. So uh, I hope you look forward to that. And again, Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.